started this game as league leaders, but Wraith Rovers showed early on they were in no way overawed. Colin Cameron and Stephen Crawford combining well, and Cameron forcing a fine save from Steve Dykstra after 14 minutes. But it was Motherwell who took the lead five minutes later. Davy Cooper's free kick hooked into the net by Wraith's David Sinclair. The Fir Park side, full of confidence, came close to goal number two in the 32nd minute. Dougie Arnott shot, touched over by Gordon Arthur for a corner. As half-time approached, Motherwell were awarded a penalty when Paul McGrillen was upended right on the edge of the box by Ronnie Coyle. McGrillen recovered, Coyle was booked and Rob McKinnon slotted home the penalty to give the home side a 2-0 lead at the break. Seven minutes into the second half, Davy Cooper tapped a free kick to Rob McKinnon. His effort was stopped by Arthur, but Paul McGrillan was in hand to stroke the ball into the net. 3-0 down, but Wraith Rovers hadn't given up the fight. Player manager Jimmy Nicholl tried to claw his side back into the game. Dykstra denied him. The Kakodi side refused to give up, though. Even with only four minutes remaining, they put the Motherwell defence under pressure. And it paid dividends. Peter Heatherston chased unchallenged to collect on the right. He slipped the ball to Colin Cameron, who laid it off for Ronnie Coyle to fire in a great goal from 20 yards. 3-1. But Motherwell restored the three-goal advantage a minute from time. Davy Cooper's corner headed on by Ali Graham, and Steve Kirk there to nod the ball over the line. Motherwell 4, Wraith Rovers 1, and well, two points clear at the top of the Premier table.